finally, it's here, no more waiting. Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, which has a groundbreaking AI, high level performance, and champion level gameplay and ingenious capture. Thanks for joining me today. This is Muhammad Mamun Hilali. In this video, I will be discussing about the Snapdragon's performance, usage, features, and its comparison with Apple Bionic chips. So stick with us till the end. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 is the processor that almost certainly is going to be inside the top smartphones in the 2023. GPU delivers up to 25% improved performance and 40% better power efficiency. It supports LDDR5 x memory, Wi-Fi 7 with 5.8 gigabit per second peak speed, and UFS 4.0 storage. Vivo X19 Pro Plus is the world's first smartphone with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2. It was released on December 6 in China and it's not available globally. Phones most likely will have these chipsets are OnePlus 11, Samsung Galaxy 23 Ultra, Vivo X19 Pro Plus, and Vivo iQOO 11. If we compare Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with 8 Gen 1, here's the difference. Pause the video if needed. There are some concerns about the Apple Bionic chips in the mobile industry. The Apple Bionic chips have always been on top of their game. The most powerful performance then the answer would be easily Bionic chips. According to the tests conducted by Golden Reviewer on Xiaomi 13, the performance of the Qualcomm's new chipset processor has been significantly improved over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or 8 Plus Gen 1. The overall performance has increased by 10%. But the core running speed is equivalent to that of the 8 Plus Gen 1. On the other hand, the latest news says the Apple's A17 Bionic to launch next year will be focusing on improving battery life and processing performance. Apple had previously considered adding features such as ray tracing to the A16 chip, but due to brain drain, it ended up being a simple upgrade. It looks like, finally, Qualcomm will dethrone Apple Bionic chips. Here is the list of some features that Snapdragon contains. Karyo CPU, Adreno GPU, and camera. That is it for today's video. If you want to know about technologies used in FIFA World Cup, click on this. If you want to know about iPhone's new phone, click on this. See you soon.